Do you ever look at the phonemic script when you look up a new word? Some people have been asking me about this extra symbol that they've been seeing that isn't an I and isn't an E. So I thought I'd do a very quick video to just give you a little bit of information about it. So this sound is symbolized by a small I, but without the colon after it. So this sound is somewhere in between the short I and the long E. So I am put some examples here just to illustrate this point. So my first example we've got is slip and then slippy. So most commonly this I without the colon represents the sound that a Y at the end of a word makes. So you can probably hear when I say slippy, the Y sounds like a longer E than the I in slip. Slip, slippy. However, it's not as long as the E in sleep. When you listen to it, sleepy. You can see that my mouth isn't quite as wide for the E at the end of the word, sleepy. Let's look at another example just to reinforce this idea. So I've got pick, picky, pick, picky, peak, peaky, peak, peaky. You have a go at reading out these words. It's probably something that you do naturally anyway when you're speaking English. However, it's always good to know what these symbols mean when you're looking up new words in the dictionary. Have fun. See you soon. Bye.